What up YouTube, welcome to my game channel. I've been a big fan of video games since I was little, so I made this platform where I can share and talk about it with y'all. I'm making videos appreciating and showing respect to certain video games. There are a lot of classic games out there that deserve praise. Just think of the classic games you played when you was growing up. That brings good memories and change your life. So let's give our appreciation to the best fighting games of all time. Nah, not that. This. Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Just think of the year 2000. Where were you when this game came out? It was in the arcades first. When part 1 came out, it was getting popular. But when part 2 came out, it blew up. And I mean that literally. Competition was in an all time high when it came to this game. Even when it's in your hood. People will bet money while a crowd of people are watching. And if you lose or win, the people will get mad and start a fight with you. Well, it was from my experience by the way. Until Marvel vs. Capcom 2 came out in stores, that's when things got serious. Everybody who got this game became hooked. But why this game became so special? Well, there are a lot of reasons. One is the roster. I think it's a smart move by Capcom by combining our favorite characters in one game. You're playing 56 characters throughout the game. And the ones who's not playable can be your partner still. And you can play as the Avengers, X-Men, Street Fighters, and Dark Stalkers. Just to play three characters throughout the game makes the game special. Two is the combos. What makes the game more exciting is always the combos. I remember people practicing their ass off doing combos. You can do it from the ground and up. Air combos are the best to do. In fact, People be cheating as hell and won't let you breathe in the process. Once they got you on the corner, it's a wrap. Doing combos with your favorite characters are not only the best feeling, but funny when you're bullying your friends with it. What's more fun and dope about combos is the amount of combos you hit your opponent. I saw someone did a 99 hit combo on somebody. The person had no choice but to quit. Three is stages. The stages in this game are dope and fun as hell. Some people would disagree. They would say that part one has better stages. Overall, the stages makes the game better. The best stages are the river and circus. Four is the music. The music was different and unexpected. People were expecting fighting music to get hyped to. But instead, it was jazz music. Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Yes, jazz music. But it was okay because it stood out. And it was memorable. I couldn't tell you how many times I played this game. And the music was still in my head. You can't front. The vibe had you nodding your head throughout the game. This was pure genius by Capcom. Five is the bosses. Abyss was a pain in the ass. You'd think you beat him the first or second time, but you have to do that shit three times. Yeah. What's worse is if you have a slow character on your squad, best believe it will make you throw your controller. I always thought Cyber Akuma was hard to beat until you meet Abyss. But Marvel vs. Capcom did a good job keeping our edge off our seat. Last but not least, modes and tournaments. I had friends back then practicing every day to enhance their skills. People would bring their controllers into your crib and play for hours competing with each other. 
you'll have good Latinos and white people. But ain't nobody took that shit serious than black and Asian people. People love the game more for the competition. How many times you beat your friends and they refuse to leave your house? It's that adrenaline rush and drive where you want to be the best. I witnessed tantrums and people crying over this game. Get a fucking water! Fucking snipers! This game gave people mood swings. But the energy and the hype made the game addicted. We're having our favorite characters fighting each other. With the cool combos and challenging bosses. Who say their phrases or sound effects to remember. With the best music and stages. With 56 playable characters in the competitive nature. With this game growing up, you have good memories. And a good reason why it's a classic. To this day, people still got this game. Even if they don't have a PS2 no more. With the new Marvel vs. Capcom games. Go fuck yourself. Cause it ain't better than the original. So thank you Capcom for making another classic to remember. Cheers to the best fighting game in the world. You are appreciated. RX out.